So what do you think? What reason do you think they don't speak English? Is it because education is too expensive, or students are lazy, or is it not a developed country? All of these are wrong answers. So let's see the correct one together. Japan is known as one of the world's most homogeneous societies. Japan is an island nation with a large ethnic Japanese population, unlike other countries that share similar borders with foreign neighbors. As a result, there has never been a need for each person to learn a second language because everyone speaks the same language and shares the same rituals and traditions. Apart from being an island nation, Japan's isolation from the rest of the world during the Edo period aided its linguistic and cultural homogeneity. From 1633 until 1853, there was an isolationist policy in which trade and international connections were limited. Furthermore, the reigning shogun began to enact a series of commandments in order to isolate Japan from other countries and limit foreign influence, fearing a loss of authority and the introduction of Western ideas. Foreigners were not allowed to enter Japan, and Japanese citizens were not able to live without special permission. Nonetheless, it was not until 1853 that the arrival of Matthew Perry made Japan become a modern country rather than continue to be isolated. Perry entered Japan and forced them to trade with the West with the Convention of Kanagawa. As a result, the shogun lost their power and Japan became modernized in terms of industry and technology. Second, when the Meiji period began in 1868, many reforms and openness in Japan began to emerge. All Western influences were welcomed into the country. A new Ministry of Education, for example, has been established. It established Japan's first compulsory education system, which was modeled after German and French institutions and foreign language policies have also been revised. They accepted English as an important part of the national language curriculum because the value of foreign languages was emphasized more than in the previous century. In 1871, an entrance exam system for universities was established, which included English grammar and advanced levels of translation. However, it is clear that this approach has had little impact on students' English proficiency levels up to this point. To put it another way, it is not working at all. Furthermore, according to Miller, through the eyes of Japanese citizens and foreign teachers, there are three main factors in the education system that are ineffective. To begin with, the system only prepares students for taste rather than allowing them to apply what they have learned in the classroom to real-life problems. All students must take and pass the taste that is required by most university and secondary schools. However, it concentrates mostly on grammar and vocabulary rather than on all aspects of English, such as speaking and listening. Without a doubt, Japanese English teachers will only cover the subject that will be tasted. The second reason is that they lack the ability of Japanese English teachers. Many of the instructors, in reality, are unable to communicate in the English that they intend to teach the students. The main issue is that they are unable to practice due to a lack of time. To be clear, Many teachers have homeroom responsibilities, as well as organizing school organizations, departmental meetings, parent meetings, and teaching 20 or more classes per week. 
There will simply not be enough time for training given the busy schedules of Japanese instructors. Furthermore, Kerrigan pointed out that the majority of qualified Japanese teachers who are capable of efficiently teaching English frequently study abroad. However, everyone cannot afford the cost. Also, many foreign language teachers criticize the poor quality of textbooks used in the classroom. There are many grammatical mistakes in the textbooks that the native speakers do not even use. The third point is that while English lessons are provided in many schools, actual classroom use of English appears to be lagging. English is frequently taught in Japanese by Japanese English teachers. They translate from English to Japanese to see if the students understand. Students' ability to comprehend and experience this foreign language through their teachers is often limited by existing teaching methods. Finally, they create an attitude that leads them to overlook the importance of the English language until today. Since they do not have the opportunity to practice other English skills in the classroom. According to an interview conducted by a man named Yuta, several local Japanese people believe that studying English is not necessary. Furthermore, they believe that foreign visitors to Japan must be able to communicate with the locals in Japanese. Certainly, because the school system and teachers do not emphasize the importance, whether or not people want to study is a matter of personal desire. Due to the poor method in the classroom, as well as Japanese culture, the racism within the classroom becomes even more obvious. To explain, the Japanese have a strong preference for introvert individuals over outgoing personalities. Students are likely to be passive receivers rather than expressing their own opinions during the classes. Even if they know the answer, many of them will refuse to volunteer. Also, many people do believe it is impolite for students to speak up and show their understanding. Plus, some students are afraid of being embarrassed if they give the wrong answer in front of their classmates. Overall, the necessity of learning English in Japan is debatable, as many people believe that Japan is already developed and continues to advance as a modernized nation. Many of them think that it doesn't matter if Japanese people cannot speak English fluently since they can communicate with tourists even if they don't speak English. However, because we never know what will happen in the future, Learning another language is not a drawback, but rather a benefit that will come in handy for all of us at some point.